Do you know what you know what's wrong with it? Not too sure. Okay, let me uh let me take a quick look at it. Let me see if I get the hood up. Oh! Whoa! Oh no, another truck. Okay, CHP's safe. Oh man, this is just getting really bad. Oh, oh man, another one. Oh, this is not good, guys. I need, I need the police department here. We now got a semi in there and a bunch. Oh, and a bunch of cars. All right, we need to completely shut down this road. What's up guys, you boys, Pilot 2K7, and we are back for brand new Grand Theft Auto 5 real life mod video today. We're starting out at our county location for our towing company, Ace Towing, and as you can see, we have heavy snow, guys. So you guys already know, once it starts snowing here in San Andreas, the people just do not know how to drive and they just start crashing into everything so we actually got a report from the california highway patrol there's a crazy 20 car pile up on the uh freeway just north of our location so we're gonna go ahead and respond to that they said they have two to three semi trucks i believe stuck in a ditch as well as a box truck and a bunch of passenger vehicles. Some of the passenger vehicles were able to get out on their own, but a lot of them are still stuck in the snow. So as you can see, there are no vehicles around us right now, guys. That's because we already have all of our vehicles staged and ready to go. I have all of my drivers, trucks are ready, and we're about to roll out. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna take out to this accident. And we're going to respond as quickly as we can so we can try to get the road open for all of this holiday traffic. So, I'm going to start from the back here. Now, also, this is part two of a two-part video. So, make sure you guys check out part one. And I will link it down below in the video description. Plus, I'll put it in the top right as a card. So, make sure you drop uh, check out part one so you guys, you guys can see how the accident happened. It was pretty crazy. It literally was a, crane re a chain reaction. So in the rear, we have a Ford F-350. Uh, this is actually one of our newer trucks. It doesn't even have the Ace towing decals on it yet, but I'm gonna bring it anyway, just so that we have an extra person and an extra truck. Uh, we also have two more F-350s ready to roll. Uh, we have the Freightliner M2. Probably gonna use that for the box truck. Uh, we also have another Freightliner M2 set up in a flatbed configuration. We have two Peterbilts uh, flatbeds, so we'll have both of those out and ready. Uh, we have heavy number two, the Kenworth W900 Wrecker. Probably gonna need this for the semi truck. We also have heavy number one, and we'll probably use that for the other semi truck. So as you guys can see, it's about to be a crazy day. And then of course we have heavy number five, which is the rotator. And I'm sure we're gonna need the rotator to kind of get some of the vehicles back onto the route. Now, cool thing about the uh, rotator, Foxtrot Delta actually upgraded it. So you guys can find this on his Patreon page, but he actually upgraded it. So it's now 10% bigger than it was before. So before it kind of looked a little bit small compared to the other trucks but now it looks perfect so if you guys are interested in checking it out definitely check out foxtrot delta patreon page and i will link every mod that i'm using down below in the video description all right so the convoy is ready to go guys we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten vehicles that we're rolling out with so let's get started here. Now we're going to have to be extremely careful in the snow, guys. So because of that, I am going to lead with my lights on just so that traffic is a little bit cautious. Yeah, the trucks are just slipping and sliding right now in the snow, guys. 
That's crazy. Alright, so we have two miles to go. It shouldn't take us too long to get there. And then once we get on scene, we'll assess the situation. I think we're going to be able to handle it with all of the vehicles we have right now. Um, I know it was a 20 car pileup, but they did say about half of the vehicles were able to drive away. So I know we're probably only going to have to tow about 10 vehicles. So I think we should be good. But if we do need any more trucks, of course, we could always call in some more trucks from our city location. We do have Heavy 3 and Heavy 4 are operating down out of Los Santos right now. So if we need them, we could call them in. And if we need any more like uh, rollbacks or wheel lift tow trucks, we could call those in as well. But I think we're going to be okay, guys. Yeah, so just to be safe, I'm gonna just turn traffic off on this intersection because it'll be crazy trying to get through this. Oh, those trucks are slipping and sliding, guys. Take it easy on those turns, take it easy. A little bit of first person here. Now the road is shut down on both sides, so you guys aren't going to see any traffic from here on out. Um, they had to pretty much shut down traffic to make it safe. Uh, people were just spinning out of control like crazy, so they had to just shut it down. It's funny how in GTA 5, like the mirrors, <laughs> it doesn't pick up the snow. That's just like a GTA 5 thing. All right, so as soon as we get around this corner, guys, we should see the accident. All right, guys, I see the wreck. Alright guys, this is looking crazy. We got two trucks. Both of them look like they're close to rolling over. Luckily they didn't fully roll over, so that's okay. Uh, we have a box truck down there, and we have several passenger vehicles. So I think what we're going to do, some of the vehicles we can probably winch up on this way, like some of the small vehicles, but the... Uh, the heavies, I think we're going to winch up the heavies from the other side since it looks a little bit lower. It'll definitely be easier to get those semi-trucks from the other side. Alright, so I have a bit of a plan. Alright, so I'm, I'm thinking like maybe the light duties or maybe like three of the light duties stay over here and get those cars up. The rest get the other cars up from the other side and then we'll get the semis up as well. All right, so let's get these trucks into position. Looks like we have CHP is still here. All right, so I think this blue car is the one that actually caused this whole chain reaction because he was stuck right there. People were swerving and speeding, and the next thing you know, they went into the ditch. So it's kind of crazy. Looks like the uh, Department of Transportation is also on scene, obviously. And like I said, make sure you guys go back and check out that video so you guys can see how they responded and they put up the message boards and tried to stop traffic, but traffic just didn't listen. And that's how all of this happened. All right, so I'm going to try to spin this truck around here. Now, traffic is shut down uh, all the way down by Polito, so they're not allowing any vehicles onto the road. 
So we should be safe with turning around here. Oh man, it takes a lot to turn around this thing. I've been trying to figure out where that siren has been coming from for like the past couple of minutes and I have no idea. Alright, so Department of Transportation has those extra message boards up just in case a vehicle gets by for whatever reason. This is going to be a doozy, guys. Alright, so let's take a look at this and see how bad it is. I'm a little bit concerned about this semi-truck because if we don't pull it up correctly, it's just going to flip up and end up on its side. So I think we're going to try to get some of these smaller vehicles out first, like that Honda Civic. We can just pull up with one of the Ford F-350s. We should be able to get that Explorer up as well. Alright, so these three vehicles. Alright, you guys over here, I want you guys to start chaining up this red Civic, this black SUV, and this Ford Explorer. Get those all off on uh, onto the road. Be extremely cautious with your truck sliding because we are in the snow, so be extremely cautious, guys. And um, we're going to have to work together and make sure nobody gets injured because this is an extremely dangerous scene. For example, like say if we're pulling up a car on this side and somebody's trying to like chain up the semi truck or something the car slips and crashes into them so we got to be extremely careful guys all right this semi truck i gotta be careful if i pull it from the front this one may flip i may have to pull it from the back and just pull it the same way it went in so we may have to get one of the heavies turned around man this is gonna be crazy this is going to be crazy, guys. Alright. Alright, so I think we have a plan. Let's get to work. Uh, this Freightliner M2 could probably pull up that uh, box truck. It may need a little bit of help for one of the other trucks, so we'll see what happens now. I'm going to have to kind of do this all myself. We're kind of like a one-man team since we're playing single player. So I'm going to work on doing all of this now. Let's see if we get this Civic up first. Alright guys, so we got this Honda Civic hooked up to the F-350. We're going to get ready to winch it up. Okay. It's coming up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we'll stop. Right, let's just make sure we go ahead and just set that brake. Okay, brake set. Alright, so we get our wheel lift down and we'll lift this thing up. If the car is too low, I can't even attach to it. That's funny. Alright, we'll just pull it with the winch a little bit. Okay, so first car is up. Yeah, I can't attach to it. Alright, so that's fine. So we have that one up. Let's try to get the next vehicle up now guys I think the next easiest one would probably be to get this Ford Explorer up so for that I'm gonna actually use this roll back here oh, <laughs> oh man I said safety first I just hit one of my guys I, I think I could hit this Explorer from right here so we're gonna put the roll back down and let's see if we're able to hit it. Yeah, 
Now, if you guys do enjoy this episode and crazy tone and recovery videos like this, do me a favor. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below and subscribe if you are new. All right, we are so close to it. I just need to pull it up just a bit and then we'll be able to get it onto the uh, flatbed. All right. Slowly coming up. All right, looks like we got it there. All right, so we're gonna winch it up the rest of the way now. Looks about good, so we'll get this uh, strap down, but the four-way chains and straps on, and this explorer is ready to get out of here. Now we should be able to put another vehicle onto the wheel lift underneath, so we'll uh, get this up, and we'll see if we could attach another vehicle to it. All right, perfect. All right, so that's two cars out so far. We still have a lot to do. We still gotta get those heavies up. Uh, we got one more on this side and we could probably start working on the other side. So we repositioned the Peterbilt and we're gonna try to pull this black SUV up. Um, I'm gonna also use a F-350 as well cause it's kinda steep right here and I don't, I don't want anything to like fall or slide down or anything like that. So we're gonna use both of these trucks and try to pull up this SUV and we'll put the SUV onto the wheel lift and we'll tow those two out of here. Okay, this one is coming up. Alright, that should be good. We're going to block off the wheels. We're going to set the brake and we'll try to attach it to the wheel lift and tow it out of here. Alright, so we got the wheel lift down. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't like extend out or anything. It just kind of just goes up and down, but we just role play attaching it. And so... Let's give it a little bit more space, maybe. All right, so I may put this SUV onto one of the other rollbacks since it's probably all of the drive and it'll just be safer to tow it that way. But for now, we can just put this right here. All right, perfect. So we got three cars out of here so far, guys. Explorer's out, black SUV's out, red Honda Civic is all out. So I think we're clear from this side. The next thing we're gonna have to do is start working from the other side and start pulling out some of these other vehicles. So let's see, what do we have to use over here? Right, I'm thinking we could probably start pulling these two out right here. It's pretty steep, so we're gonna have to be careful. But let's get this hooked up and let's see what happens. I think I could grab this one. It's gonna be hard, but I think we could do it, guys. Okay, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little hard, but I'm gonna try to pull it from the back and just yank it from under the trailer and then hopefully get it onto the bed. Alright. I hope that my truck doesn't flip. Come on, don't flip, don't flip. Uh, it's coming up kind of 
bad, but it's okay. Should be able to fight it and get it on. And we got it. Okay, perfect. Now, I want to get this other truck up, or this other car up. Um, I think I could do it with the Peterbilt, too, so. I'm trying to use the rollbacks to get two vehicles out to kind of just save equipment because, like I said, it's snowing. People are wrecking all over the place. So I, I got to try to keep every truck as available as I can. So if each of these rollbacks could take back two vehicles, then that means I could use the uh, wheel lift, like the F-350s. I could use those on other calls. Trying to just be as efficient as possible. So I'm going to try to get this other vehicle up. Alright. We're making it look easy today, guys. Alright, perfect. Another success. So I'm going to use this truck to tow both of these out of here. This could head back towards the yard. All right, so those two are ready. He's gonna take those back to the shop. And that's two out. All right, perfect. So let's get back to work. Uh, next up, we're gonna have to try to get this uh, mule out, this box truck, so for this, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Should we have get it? I think we may just want to get this out from the other side. So I think the best thing to do, I'm just going to do this to kind of save time. If I, if I could try to get it out from here, you know what? Let's just get it out from here. It's going to probably be more work though. I could get it out from here. But we got to get it around the semi -tree. I don't know. What do you guys think from the front or the back? What y'all think? I don't know. I'm trying to think what is easier. I think I'm just going to go from the front, though. I think I'm going to use one of the heavies to pull it up to help us out just to be safe. Because I don't know how loaded it is. So, yeah. I think that's going to be the best bet. So, let's do that. I'm going to move this guy out the way. He can go over there for now. And we're going to move this out the way. And I'm going to use the heavy to pull it up. gonna be a tough angle but we should be able to get it though. Alright that should be good there. And also make sure we put down these outriggers keep us from sliding and let's touch. I probably could have did this with the uh, Freightliner, but it, the snow really makes this a, a lot harder, and I just want it to be safe, so I'd rather pull it up with the Heavy. Okay. Perfect. All right, we're gonna have to just fix the tires. I don't know how all the tires pop, but we're just gonna have to road blade that we fix the tires or else we're not gonna be able to tow this thing at all. Forgot to change the tires. All right, so we'll just put this over here until we sort the tires out. I'll just fix it and then we'll tow it back to the shop. All right, so I'm gonna try to get some more of these cars out of here. So I'm gonna use this F350 just to grab this Mustang. 
And this Mustang was actually like one of the first vehicles that it, it pretty much just started all of this, which is crazy. So since it's rear wheel drive, we'll hook up from the rear. Okay, so we get this Mustang out of here. Let me just navigate through this mess. Okay, so all of these are ready to go. So we got two cards out of here so far. This is going to be three, four, five, and six out of here. And I think after this, all we have is just the semi truck. So, all right. So these vehicles are going to be heading back towards the shop. All right, there they go. So all we have left is the semi truck skills. It's gonna be the fun part. So uh, let me know what's the plan for the semis. Oh, there's one more car over there. We gotta get that out of here, but we'll use probably the Freightliner M2 rollback. I guess I'll do that in the meantime. So give me some suggestions. How do you guys think we should get this on? I'm definitely gonna do one at a time. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we'll put one of the heavies in the front, the rotator in the middle, and then the third heavy towards the rear. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. But in the meantime, let me just grab this vehicle and get this one out of there. And then this semi over here, I think this one we're just going to pull it out the way it came in. I think that's our best bet for that one. I just realized they had to cut off the doors and stuff too. This person was probably stuck in there. Alright, so he's going to take this one out of here. So, like I said, I think our best bet is to pull this one from the rear, and then we'll worry about that one. That one's going to be the trickiest one, because I don't want that one to roll over. Now, as you can see, we released most of our units. The only units still on scene are the three heavies, as well as these two F-350s. I'm probably going to keep these two here just for the, the help with personnel, because that's two extra hands we have for a chain and all this stuff. 
Now, in the meantime, my guys have been chaining everything up, so we should be ready to go. I'm just going to reposition. I guess we'll grab the Kenworth since it's close. So we'll reposition the Kenworth, and then we'll uh, start pulling. So we'll put that there, and we're going to get one of these other trucks to help out, too. Looks like they're just about done with the rigging. And the main reason why I want to pull it from the back is just because right here is extremely steep. Like, you guys see this right here? I'm not going to really be able to get this up and over this. I mean, it's possible, but it's going to be hard. So I think it's just going to be simpler to just grab it and pull it the same way it went in. Hey right, guys, we're going to use a rotator to help out with this as well. So let's get these outriggers down and out. Let's get the arm up. And the plan is for just to just basically hold the trailer and hold the semi and keep them from flipping over. So that's pretty much what the rotator is going to do. And then the other two heavy trucks is going to do most of the lifting. Alright, so we got that extended. Alright, so let's look at how we have our setup. So I have my team ready watching for pretty much every angle we have the rotator here rotator has the arm up in the air and it's attached to the trailer and to the uh, semi and it's basically just gonna help guide it up it's not really gonna pull it up but just guide it up and stop it from wanting to flip over uh, we have heavy one and two over here these two are gonna tag team uh, the one in the front on the right is gonna be hooked up to the trailer as you can see and then the one right here, uh, the second one here in the middle, is hooked up to the front of the trailer right where the semi-truck is. Basically, it's hooked up to the semi-truck. So it's like wires all over the place, but it's controlled chaos. So we're going to go ahead and start pulling. And let's see what happens, guys. Here we go. All right, everything looks good. Okay, it's coming up. As you can see, it's wanting to slide, but the rotator is holding it. All right, so I went over here just so I could kind of see what's happening on this side. Um, the trailer and the truck aren't really staying straight, but hopefully we could kind of straighten it up now. So let's start winching again. It's straighten out. We just need to get it up a little bit more now. Alright, got the rear axles on. Uh, I wish we had just a little bit more space. I think if we could pull it just a little bit more and then we should be able to just grab it from the front and spin it around and it shouldn't flip over since it's not too much of an angle so let's see how much more space we have to work with a couple more feet so I'm just gonna try to pull it to about right here and then it should be good I think that's as close as I could get it. Alright, there we go. 
Alright, we got the drives are just about on the pavement. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we'll use a rotator now. We'll connect that just to the front only and then just swing it around and then get it onto the pavement. Alright, so we reposition the rotator. Uh, we also reposition the Kenworth so it could kind of just tow it out of here. But let's go ahead and try to just pull this onto the pavement. Just want to make sure we watch everything so it doesn't want to flip. Looks like we're good. And all the drives are on the pavement. Perfect. Alright, so let's get all of that stuff disconnected and then we'll use this truck to just temporarily tow it to the side. I'm not going to tow it back to the shop yet because we're still going to need this truck to uh, help out with the other recovery. We could always call another one of our trucks. We have heavy, um, what is it, heavy three and four in the city, but I think I'm just gonna leave them available because I'm sure they're busy at the city shop anyway. So we'll leave this here for now and let's figure out how we're gonna get this one over. This is gonna be one heck of a tug, guys. So I'm thinking we are going to set this up about right here. I have to watch those wires. And then we'll put the rotator in the middle and then we'll put the Kenworth at the rear. So kind of the same plan. So we reposition all of the trucks and it looks like we're good to go. So we have the Kenworth attached to the rear and that's just going to kind of help hold the rear as we're pulling up. We have the rotator. The rotator is kind of just going to help pull as well as prevent everything from rolling over. And then we have the Peterbilt again, which is going to do most of the pulling as far as just pulling it this way. So we're going to try to pull it this way, but the main thing is going to be trying to prevent it from rolling over. Let's actually move this guy out the way because if this thing roll over, he's going to get hit. Right, let's put them like maybe right. Let's put them up here. All right, so let's see what happens. Let's start pulling. All right, it's coming around, and this thing wants to flip, but the rotator is holding it so far. Trailer's gonna want to swing around. All right, we got all of the drives on. We have to pull it a little bit more, though. That looks really good guys, so I'm going to have to use, um, we'll use the rotator and just get the trailer back up and then we should be good. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Thing almost looks like it wants to flip, but I think we're good. Alright, I 
just want to make sure all the wheels are on pavement. And it looks like maybe a little more. Okay, we're good. So let's work on towing these out of here, guys. But it looks like we're just about done. All that's left to do is attach to each semi and start towing them out of here. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. I know it did take us a little while, but we definitely did a good job here. We were able to get these semis up without um, without losing them, basically, which is the important part. So we are going to tow these the rest of the way. the Kenworth to grab the other semi truck. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually drive the Kenworth back to the shop just because I know you guys like when we do the heavy towing. So I'm going to drive this, uh, we'll get someone else to drive this one, and then I'm going to let one of my other guys, whoever was driving the Kenworth basically, I'll let them take the rotator back to the shop. But guys, we are done. That was another successful recovery by Ace Towing, and you guys already know man, we're the best. So. We're going to go ahead and clean up this scene, get everything, uh, um, all the chains and cables and all that stuff put back, and then we'll tow these vehicles back to the shop. We are done. Just about ready to get the road opened up. So let's get out of here, guys. That was a lot of fun. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this heavy-duty towing video. If you did, do me a favor. Make sure you guys go ahead and smash the like button if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe. Also, don't forget you can find me not only on YouTube, but also on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Discord, all at AcePilot2K7. And I'll link all of my different pages down below in the video description so you guys can follow me over there as well. And uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Also, if you guys have Instagram, repost or post me in your Instagram stories too. Like, just do a story of you watching the video, like just record the screen or something and post it. So I could go ahead and uh, shout you guys out and I'll repost you guys on Instagram. All right, so far so good. That was a heck of a recovery today. But we did a good job though. We definitely did good. I'm proud of all of our workers, even though I technically did all the work, but I'm proud of everybody.
All right, so I just hauling these back to the shop. <laughs> oh shoot, look at them too. That's funny, I forgot to delete them. He should figure out how to get back to the shop. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to attempt to turn traffic back on. Hopefully they don't get too crazy. I probably should have did it after I made this right turn. It's going to be a little challenge in here. Hey, you know what? Let's just turn traffic back off because I just see this going bad. Alright, I just want to swing this wide. Almost there guys, almost there. Also want to thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video as well. That is awesome that you guys are still watching. Glad you guys enjoyed. Alright, it's going to be another tricky turn here. I'm just going to turn off traffic. The thing didn't even go down on our side, that's crazy. Alright, even though it's up, I'm just waiting for it to go up properly and stop flashing. Oh, it looks like another train's coming, actually. Good thing we didn't try to go. didn't come up yet but I was waiting here for so long it's just kind of broken but remember guys in real life always wait Alright guys, so that is going to officially do it for this episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. We made it back to the shop. We recovered all of the vehicles and were able to get the highway opened up. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys, again, if you haven't already, hit the like button. Leave some comments down below so I can give you guys a heart in the uh, comment section. So leave a regular comment. Just say whatever you like, whatever you thought about the video. So I can reply and give you that heart. And again, if you guys have Instagram, repost me on your stories or post me on your stories. I'll repost and shout you guys out over there and on Twitter too. Just tag me. 
But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.